Hello, my name is Imran and today we're going to talk about the 6 bar lift for Vex Robotics. My team is 2 triple segment T and this was also my first year in robotics this year. We did pretty good overall. <clears throat> first we're going to talk about how the 6 bar works and why would you want a 6 bar lift for your robot. How a 6 bar works is you have this motor on the left side and the right side the motor powers C channels and the C channels lift to maximum height. Why would you want it? One reason is it can reach pretty high and another is this 2x1 C channel and this 2x1 C channel stays vertical the whole time no matter what. If you have it in screw the right place. As you can see, let me show you completely vertical no matter what but if you have it plugged in the wrong hole that I can show you in a different hole and I lift it you can see this 2x1 C channel is no longer vertical but the one in the back is so where you put your hole is very important you have to get it right if you want your lift to work correctly and as you can see even as it's down, it's not looking correct. <clears throat> now that I put it back in the control, it's fine. We're going to talk about gears and gear ratios. For this robot, <clears throat> I'm using a 5 to 1 gear ratio, a 12 to metal gear, and a 60 to plastic gear. It is a 5 to 1 because for every 5 times this metal gear turns, this blue one, this green gear turns one time. So this is driving, this is a driven 5 to 1. <coughs> uh, back here, when you Putting your lift on, you'd want equal spaces as you can see. Let me show you real quick. <clears throat> the end of your C channels where your gear that's connected to your gear. And the top longer portion needs to be aligned correctly. And you want to use collars, spacers, axles, and motors. While we're back here, let's talk about this plastic piece right here this one right here that's going across why would you need this the reason I have this on here is to prevent from coming out or not staying properly parallel because if this right here comes off like let's just say they're they're like inwards without this then my lift's not going to lift properly because <clears throat> these have to stay upright the whole time Alright. Same, I have this piece right here too. In the front. This piece right here, it can go down here, it can go up here, where whatever works for you. This right here is to prevent <coughs> it, it keeps the lift just about parallel. See when you lift you want it to be parallel as much as you can get it. No matter what. See right here, as you can see, you don't want your intake to be like this. These go up right almost at the same time, come down almost at the same time, and that's how you want your. <clears throat> that's why you'd want this piece right here. <clears throat> how the six bar works is the the motor turns the twelve teeth, which turns the green sixty teeth gear and that lifts this bottom since my 62 is connected to this bottom 2x1 C channel this is the powerhouse for the lift on the left side on the right side and the left side this right here lifts the whole robot so for my programming I had it with one button with lift and lower the lift so as this would lift this goes to maximum height as you can see it's parallel it's at maximum height
<clears throat> the reason you have this right here is the powerhouse as I mentioned earlier. This right here is to extend your six bars to its maximum height as you want it to be. To and this right here, this top portion is to keep is to play something your uh, intake would be right here. So you, right here you'd put your intake and your conveyor system right here and it would be vertical the whole time so you, as you can see as these come down again as these seat channels are facing down downwards your intake or conveyor system would still be vertical and that's the advantage of the 6 bar lift <clears throat> If you use a 7 to 1 gear ratio, it's going to give you more torque, which means you can lift more weight, but it's going to make it slower, and 5 to 1 is absolutely fine. I had no problem with that. As you can see in the back, I only have two motors, a left side and a right side. And the reason being is, this is just a prototype for your actual robot competition. <clears throat> You'd want to use, if you have the heavy metal, also known as steel, You'd want to have four motors, so you, you would have another motor down here with a 12 tooth plastic gear programmed <clears throat> correctly. Or you could use aluminum. For my competition robot, I first had steel and I had four robots, then I converted over to aluminum. And I still use four just to be sure my lift never gave out. The advantage of the aluminum is it's lighter a lot lighter it's less than half but it's more expensive so not everybody has it so if you don't have it you can just have four <coughs> four motors and that's they'll work perfectly fine alrighty just got something else here as mentioned here as you can see I'm using a lock nut right here and you'd want to use a lock nut so if you use a regular <coughs> Kepler nut you would tighten it up or you're not supposed to tighten it up all the way because you want it to be a little loose so your six bar can go up and down let's say you use the normal Kepler nut then what would happen is if you have it too tight your lift is not going to go up or down and if it's too loose it's going to fall right off so this is why I recommend you use a uh, <clears throat> lock nut. Like that this. How intake would work if it was one side of that one. As you can see, each bar, this is how it goes up when it doesn't have that connected. For your Astro Robot, let's say you have your lift coming down and it's coming like this, one faster than the other. Now that could cost you the game, it could cost, cause game objects to come out your lift, which you would not want. So this is why it is recommended to have a piece right here. If you have to, you can put it down here. Whatever keeps these almost aligned. You still want some twist in it, but not too much. That's about it. I hope this video helps you and thank you for watching.